if you guys like carbon fiber, you're gonna love today. Now, I haven't seen the body kit, the front end yet, but uh, I know it's gonna look so cool. Jose's been working on it for about a month now and getting it ready and painted. Also, I've got this little guy. So, this body kit that I got utilizes the 2012 and up front end. So, I had to get some more carbon fiber bits to change the way the fascia looks. So, no more boring 2009 front end starting today, boys. When I bought it, I didn't intend on like making a bunch of videos about it. This again, like this car was really just for me to have fun. And I do want to say, whenever I bought it, I kind of expected this car to be like, I would say characterless or bland because you know, it's automatic or it's got paddle shifters. And people always say like, oh, it drives itself. It's boring. It just does everything by itself. I could never imagine a more fun, more exciting, cool daily car to drive around. I literally love this car. We are at Delira Designs out in Mansfield. Open your door, let me wrap so he knows I'm here. It's freaking cold today. There you go, now you know, now you know. It's very, very cold outside, so we're gonna be inside today. Is this, is this the Jose Delira? What's up? What's up, brother? I'm in the <laughs> presence of the chosen one right now. <laughs> so this is Jose, he does uh, all the body work for me, painted the skyline, Delira Designs, and today, oh my God, oh. Yeah. So this is my prior design. Damn, man. Ooh, look at that carbon. So Jose did custom carbon on this, and then he painted the bumper. Ooh, buddy. Kind of hard to see right now. It's a little dark in here, but look at that, dude. Carbon that front lip. So last time we came here, it was obviously, this was all FRP. We actually, where was the little hole you had to cover up? You obviously did a very good job because I don't even know where the hole is, but there was a hole right there for the windshield or a headlight fluid reservoir thingy. And then I don't, I don't have it on my car. And then, uh, oh man, it looks good, man. This is going to be crazy on the car. Now that little piece I showed you a second ago or before the, when the video started, we're getting this little piece snapped in. So this is really cool. The, the GTR is going to have a completely different angle on the front end and it looks a lot more aggressive, obviously. The 09s had this like, it went in like this and it just didn't look nearly as aggressive. So we're going to change that today. Now, what we gotta do while Jose is getting the front bumper off, we have some mesh, some really high quality mesh that goes behind here and behind here that we can use to set in those clips. And so I've got this very fun tool that I'm about to go ahead and saw some of this mamma jamma apart. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut about right here all the way down. So we're gonna use the big portion for the lower half and the smaller portion for the upper half. This stuff is heavy duty, bro. Yeah, I've got the upper portion cut. It's not actually on right now. It's kind of like dangling there, so it's definitely sideways. OCD boys, just like me, it's okay, don't worry. So we're gonna do that little piece and put it on, and then we're gonna do chicken wire. Not the chicken wire, there's like a smaller mesh we're gonna do for the sides, right here and then right here. Go. Now you can see the actual difference between the two bumpers. Now obviously the top one's not actually together yet, it looks kind of bare right now, but um, you can see like the lines of the grill are just a little bit less aggressive than the ones on the top. The one on the top is like my favorite grill. We actually got a whole new under tray with this bumper, like prior design did a great job with this, like this is a really well made, well made bumper. And just like OEM, we've got some double-sided tape to keep the hood prop thing on. And one last one. Look at that, man. Nice little 
OEM held on there. This is gonna look good. Jose is gone grabbing some chicky and I am doing a little bit of fabrication so that we can actually have the front grill on. It's not quite on just yet, but I have trimmed it just enough to where it looks good. I got the GTR badge on, and I can go around back and show you guys. We're probably actually going to hot glue the rest of this on, but I've got one screwed in to the actual body itself, which is good, and then I've got these two holding the GTR badge on, and then we're gonna end up pushing this up and just dabbing some hot glue. The bottom's gonna be a slightly different story, but we'll figure that out as well. That's the only step we have left, and then it's gonna go onto the car. To be honest with you guys, I think the thing I'm most excited about is no more of these ugly ass sparkles. You guys remember this? This prism type crap on here? On the lip too! No more of that! No more! Actually, he just smooth out the tabs. It might look good with no, with no mesh control. on the bottom. Like that's how I've always done my 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 other cars that have intercoolers and stuff, like no mesh down here. I mean, you're literally making it a, a perfect line, I can I see, can. so. I don't have an aftermarket intercooler right now, but like, eventually. Huh. Be clean. <laughs> Fiberglass <laughs> in the lungs. I guess, uh, it's about time to put it on. All righty. That fitment is insane for an FRP kit, dude. Prior design is nuts, bro. <laughs> Fitting just like OEM, dude. That's awesome. I wanna let you guys know, Jose um, is very good at all that he does, and I want you guys to know as well, it's not just like body kits and stuff, but if you ever have like a broken bumper that you need fixed, like this DC5 bumper was destroyed from hitting a tire on the interstate, but he fixed it. So if you ever have any issues where like you have a really cool body kit, but like something happened, you need a tire, you need some body work, body repair, or even if you have a brand new kit or you want to do some carbon overlay, Delira can do it all. So I want you guys to hit up Delira Designs if you do need any of this. All right, here we go, boys and girls. I'm so excited to see this. Dude, look at that fitment, dude. You gotta be kidding me. up a little bit but man look at that aggressiveness and look look it matches it matches the side skirts it looks so good now it looks so good dude what do you think man, I like it. Look, that looks so crazy so wild oh yeah dude that's unreal yeah clean or good brother <laughs> Oh, it looks so sick. So with this, the epoxy's not completely 100% done yet, so I'm gonna come back and Jose's gonna like come back and, and, and do a little more sanding to make it a little smoother. So if you guys see that or zoom in or you paid enough attention to it, some of the epoxy's a little messed. Uh, it's, not quite, it's not quite done yet, so also gonna go back, smooth these out a little bit, but golly, dude. I think the only thing about this is uh, definitely these little nostrils right here. I want to try and make sure, I want to see if I can make some vents out of those or something, but even the grill turned out great. Oh, this freaking this splitter, dude. That splitter is unreal. Yes, it looks so good, man. So, so good. What do you think, boys? Diffuser time, one more, one more thing. One more thing for you to do, Carbon. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Always down. I can't wait till Victoria sees this. It's gonna be so good, man. Oh! I can't believe this thing has so much power. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane what a bumper can do for a car. Yeah. It, man, like. It's like mm. the face of the vehicle. <laughs>
Thanks to Mike Ham at uh, Mike at Vivid Racing for getting us hooked up, helping us out on this kit. I, I the prior design stuff is insane and it looks so good. Same with the JUN stuff, but also big thanks to the dude standing right here. He got me Chick Fil A earlier, so he's even more of my, a friend now. I think it's time to go home and show Victoria and see what she thinks. Oh shoot! Do I scrape now? Okay, no scrapey, no scrapey. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, scared the crap out of me, bro. No scrapage at all. One thing I can say, this, uh, I did put it to the test. It is durable up to very high speeds. Nothing fell off, so we're all good there. So a lot of people I know aren't a huge fan of the nostrils, and I get that, that's totally cool. I wasn't huge on them either at first. I think they look good, but, I think they look a little goofy without any sort of like vent behind it to like, I don't know, because you can see, you can end up seeing like some wiring and stuff back there, some harnesses and stuff. So I think it looks good, but it definitely, I, I would like to try and figure out maybe some way to put like a plastic shroud behind it. But dude, aside from that, man, this bumper came out so good. I actually really, really like not having like the tabs there and not having anything right here. Having the intercooler exposed, even though it's a stock intercooler, does look pretty damn cool. I do gotta say for how big this bumper is and how many very like articulate lines there are to the bumper, this is probably the highest quality FRP product I've ever gotten. Most of the times you get FRP things and they just don't fit right. There's a lot of fitment issues and you have to bring them to a body shop. Like Jose did literally nothing except for fill in some holes under the headlights and then obviously carbon for me. So stuff like this happens with the first round of epoxy. He's gonna go, he's gonna come back and then he's gonna go ahead and smooth everything out. It's a few imperfections and stuff in here. So he's gonna come back and he's gonna go ahead and do that. This actually turned out really good. I got this off of like eBay, but I literally am so stoked about this. It looks, it looks amazing guys. And before Victoria gets here, I got something absolutely amazing that I'm so excited to show you guys. I got custom plates for the GTR that I want to show you. <laughs> in school, you guys know that like, school was a hard time in my life. I have major attention deficit disorder. Um, I struggled with an addiction to Adderall because school was so hard for me, it was almost impossible to do without that drug. And so, to make light of that and to show people in the world that uh, school is not everything, this was my GPA the semester I graduated. <laughs> 2.3 GPA. I'm gonna put this on my GTR and show the world, hey man, just cause you get bad grades, doesn't mean that has to define you. Let me know what you think. <laughs> That's pretty wild, huh? I love that so much. Yeah. It looks, it looks like changes happens. the entire car. Oh yeah, it's not just some like, it's another GTR, it's like, that's yeah. a GTR. Yeah, dude, uh, this thing, it actually makes it look modified, like some something, something with taste was done to this car. Honestly, man, that's my daily advice for you guys. A lot of times, like me growing up, honestly, although not, like, not everybody, people didn't like necessarily call me dumb. A lot of times it was implied, and a lot of people told me I'd never amount to anything. It's important to know that like, school doesn't define you. Your attention deficit disorder, your hyperact hyperactive disorder, like your obsessive compulsive disorder, like that stuff doesn't define you. And just because you don't do perfectly, just because you, you have the worst grades in the class doesn't mean that, I mean, honestly, that doesn't say jack squat about your life. What's up here is a gift. And although people didn't see that growing up and although I was given a hard time for it growing up, I have used that, I've utilized that and we've been able to make something amazing out of it. And I know, again, like, it's not like it's an SVJ, I get it, it's not a Lamborghini, it's not, I'm not trying to flex that I have an R35 or anything, but to me, like, I put it on my JZX, I don't even care, I think it's important that, like, it's, a, it's important for me to show this is just a number, right? It doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. When I was in college, I coined a phrase through my speech class that said, don't be defined by the obstacles you have been given, 
Be defined as the person that overcame them. Be defined as the person that overcomes the obstacles you have. I could blame everything on my ADD. I could blame everything on my OCD and my anxiety and my depression. And I could ride on that as a crutch, but I choose not to use that as a crutch in my life. I chose to see that this is just a number and I just overcame it. And I did my absolute best. And you know what? It's worked pretty well so far. And I'm very grateful for you guys as well, just being a part of my life. But I want to use myself as an example right now and tell you guys that whatever you, if, if, if some of you guys are really smart and you guys don't struggle with it, I hate you. I'm just kidding. Um, I wish you the best and no matter what, do your absolute best, whether it's in school, your life, your job, whatever. It takes a certain type of brain to do really, really well in school, but it also takes a different type of brain to do other types of things. That's it. My hands are literally freezing, so I am going to go inside. I love you guys. <sighs> have a great day. I have two videos and by the way, you can win my Evo 10. Ooh, isn't that crazy, dude? Yeah, dude, just click on that video or the link in the description and it could be yours.